So our first speaker is uh, Sharif Clinch from uh, Just Eat Takeaway. Woo! Hey. Yeah, Sharif Clinch leads our security engineering team. So we write um, some tooling and automation capabilities for the different teams. Um, it's one of the things that are near and dear to me. So we also work with other uh, open source projects. So one of the things we're thinking about and looking at is writing, for example, security libraries, working also looking at SIGStore, for example, as part of the research. And um, off on that, um, Sharif, please take it away. Thank you, Sharif. Hello. Uh, Sharif said I'm Sharif as well. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, here's our very rapid talk on SIGStore. So just setting the scene here. So we do a few frequent internal hackathons uh, every year at Just Eat Takeaway. Uh, a few different themes could be maybe like improving already existing processes, maybe making a new product or feature. There's different themes uh, we run in these hackathons. Um, and I thought, let's take a look at SIGStore. See, let's look at how it works, give it a play, set it up and see what we think about SIGStore. Um, so, yeah, we produced a video. It's three minutes long. Um, duration is three days for our hackathon. Um, so it is a bit rushed, the video, because we can't do any longer than three minutes. But um, this is just setting the scene for the video here. Hello, I'm Sharif Clinch, and this is the intro to software signing and verification with Sigstore. So here's a nice opening quote by Google last year. Installing most open source software today is equivalent to picking up a random thumb drive off the sidewalk and plugging it into your machine. OK, but why should we really care about this? So I've included a few example production issues that show Just Eat Takeaway being impacted by attacks on the software supply chain here. And also a few example media articles. Uh, so big companies, Apple, Microsoft, being impacted by these attacks. Um, and also very popular NPM packages as well are being impacted here. And also the lots of customers that use these packages being impacted as well. So let's focus on one area of the software supply chain, which is around improving the integrity and verification. So this is where SIGStore comes in. It's a set of open source tools that make it easy to sign and verify software such as release files, container images, and binaries. There's a few example use cases here down below, but let's just see a demo. I'm Dave, Dodgy Dave, and I'm here to wreak havoc on the Just Eat platform. Through some very nefarious means, I managed to gain access to some key parts of the infrastructure, including the Jet Docker Hub. So my plan is to try and upload and run some compromised code. First, I'm going to tag my dodgy code with something that I know to be in use currently on the cluster. Second, push that code to the Jet Docker Hub. Success. Finally, I just need to simulate an event on the cluster to cause my code to run. What is this? Image verification failed? Damn! Those smart guys over at Jet must have a policy in place requiring all of their containers first being signed with a special key. Until next time, just eat. Hello, my name's Richie, and I'll be going over how we can securely sign and deploy Docker containers using GitHub Actions. This will prevent any dodgy Daves from injecting unsigned containers onto our platform, thus keeping us safe and secure. As you can see here, GitHub Actions provides us with a fairly standard pipeline, but what's interesting here is that the additional stages we have where we can use SIGSTOR's co-sign tool. This uses our private key to sign both deployment metadata as well as containers themselves, allowing us to cryptographically certify that this container was built and deployed by me and only me. Once signed, this data can be deployed to a Docker registry where consumers can use our public key to verify the source of the container. So to conclude, signing and verifying isn't an expensive task. We did this in just three days. It allows us to validate our code integrity, help prevent compromise of our software supply chain, and can seamlessly be integrated into our existing pipelines. Thank you. One more slide, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello, I'm Sharif Clay. I might need you for a second. I tried. To... Oh, no. hello, I'm Sharif Clay. There we go. So just to recap then, uh, so SIGSTOR simplifies the signing and verification of software. Um, we use the GitHub Actions template to achieve this in our three days. Uh, and it's pretty provided by GitHub. So you can use it right now for free on a free account uh, to give it a go and try and see how you, how you find it. Um, and also one thing to highlight as part of the demo, we used a tool called uh, Kyverno. It's basically a policy engine for, uh, for Kubernetes. Uh, we use that to basically verify um, container images before we deploy anything to a Kubernetes cluster. Uh, so that'll be my call to action here. So just give SigStore a try try the template, maybe GitHub Actions, and see how you find it. And that was it. Uh, one more slide to go. And open roles. Uh, so just a shameless plug here. <laughs> We've got a senior AppSec engineer position. We've got two open for that. Uh, security developers to join my team as associate vulnerability engineer, senior InfoSec risk analyst senior tech risk engineer and a lead sec ops engineer. So have a look on the link below, see if they take your fancy. And that was it for my very short, quick talk about SIGSTOR. Uh, any questions? Maybe on YouTube as well. Any, any questions for Sharif? No? Okay, thanks very much. Okay, thank you.